Hello, whoever the hell is watching this. Hopefully it's Mark and Ethan. Uh, my name is Kaylee Young and I am going to do bodice honest. I have been a self-taught special effects makeup artist, regular makeup artist and body painter since, uh, let's see, for six years now, for over six years now. Um, and today, what I'm going to do for Bodice Honest is do a recreation of the Unis Honest body paint I did a while back. I will try to throw a photo up somewhere. I have no clue how to video edit. I'm using iMovie. Um, if I can't, I will leave the original link to the Instagram post down below in the description. I will be doing a slightly modified version of the Unis Honest body paint that I did originally because with that body paint, I painted my entire uh, torso, neck, head, and because I don't want YouTube to come after me, there are going to be certain parts of my body that I do not uncover and paint, my chest for instance. Um, and I haven't decided yet what to do for my face. I might leave it like this, or I might take off my makeup and uh, do what I originally did or do something similar. Otherwise, I'll just do a Unis Honest beauty makeup on my face. So yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. This is a little bit of a complicated body paint. Uh, it took me five hours the first time I did it. So let's get to it. I would also like to point out before I begin, yes, I am above the age of 18. And also, some of y'all are cool, but some of y'all are body shamers. And I don't wanna hear it today. So keep that shit out of the comments. So first thing I'm going to do right off the bat is take the black out of this TK2 cream kit from Ben Nye. And what I'm going to do is outline the like little funnel shape and then eventually like create the lines that go through it. I don't know how to describe the like type of illusion this is going for. I think it's a funnel spiral. However, I could be wrong. I don't know the exact name but that's what I'm going to do first. <laughs> Okay, that took a lot longer than the first time just because I realized midway through after finally looking at my own version of this, I did way th thicker lines than last time. So this has already gotten a lot more hectic. So basically what I'm going to do now is take the white and black in this Meron uh, water-based paint palette. I think this is the Paradise palette. I can't find a name on here. All it says is Meron. Not sponsored by the way, I wish. Um, and I'm just going to take the black and the white and do the interlocking stripes. Please don't make fun of me for this brush. I can't afford professional body painting brushes because they're like $80 for like a good set of them. So, uh, if you would like to help me out in getting those, actually, I will leave my Ko-Fi, uh, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, whatever links down in the description. Uh, if you could help me out to buy more stuff to do body painting, special effects makeup, and beauty makeup, that's actually the career I'm going into. Uh, I would highly appreciate even a dollar helps. So then when you're done with that, you're going to just do the exact same thing with the black uh, water activated paint and make sure to rinse out your brush. This looks like fucking milk. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so now that you have the black in, um, I'm actually going to stop right here, and we're going to come back to this a little bit later. Uh, instead, now we're going to focus on the chest and arms. Okay, so this is where I'm going to go different than what I did last time, in that uh, I'm going to do a half black, half white chest, do stripes on the arms, which is the same as last time, and then do Unisonis beauty makeup on my face, since I already have regular makeup on, and... I don't want to go through painting a skull again. It's way too tedious for me right now, and it's extremely late. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm done with uh, that process, I'm a dumbass and realized I need to do my face while my hands are painted. I don't think things through, so yeah. Um, I'm basically just gonna do some black-white lipstick and change up maybe the eyeliner on one side and do white on that as well. So we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll put some white in my hair, I don't know. I'm really tired. <laughs> so for the eyes and face, I'm going to be using, um, besides the eyeliner I already put on, uh, NYX Liquid Suede in Alien and the Clown White from Ben Nye. I assume this is Clown White. It's CL1 White. Same thing, I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to come back to my stomach here and I'm going to be taking shade Spooky in the James Charles palette and using that to shade right here just to give the illusion some depth, that way it just doesn't look like a jumble of lines. I originally forgot to do that when I did the original body paint, so we're gonna do it here. I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. And while I'm here, I'm going to be cleaning up some of these black and white lines. Um, Water-based body paint is very prone to smudging just from touching or sweating or anything like that. It's very easily uh, removed. So I wouldn't recommend doing water-based body paint at a festival or anywhere that you're going to be active. Paints for events like that uh, that you could use that would stay on, I would recommend uh, cream paints, as long as you use some setting powder a lot of the time, and uh, alcohol-activated paints. However, be very careful, those cannot go in certain areas, like around your eyes or in any sensitive areas. Oh my god, this, I don't know how long this took. I haven't been able to look at the time like at all, but I'm assuming it took maybe a little less time or maybe the same amount of time, just cause this part wasn't as tedious. But Mark, Ethan, Amy, anybody else who works with them, uh, or anybody else who's looking through the tag and watching, uh, thank you. I really hope you enjoyed this, even though it wasn't the exact thing I did the first time. Um, but it was still, Fun. This was really, the stomach is really the centerpiece of the original body paint that I did. The the top, like the skull, um, what am I thinking, hourglass, was kind of just an accent part. I wasn't originally planning to do that. Um, but I really hope you all enjoyed this look. If you want to follow me and see more of my makeup looks, uh, my Instagram is going to be down in the description. And also, again, if you would like to help support me and the artwork that I create, uh, I will be leaving my Ko-Fi, my Venmo, my PayPal, and my Cash App, just in case the Ko-Fi doesn't work for you or whatever. Um, I will be leaving those all down in the description. Anything would help. I am extremely, <laughs> I would be extremely thankful if any of you 
we're going to help out. And I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, this is the first makeup tutorial that I've ever even done. I've been thinking of doing it for a while now, and Unisanis got me to do it. So yeah, uh, leave a like, maybe subscribe. Again, if you guys want more of this content, I'll sure as hell make it. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that jazz. And uh, I have to go get this all off now. This is gonna stain my skin. <laughs> also, subscribe and support Unisonis and Mark and Ethan. They are both extremely wonderful people. And this was my Bodice Honest submission. Memento Mori! Unisonis!